pretty good at fighting. I wonder why he looks so much fitter than the other musketeers. He looks pretty good at fighting. I wonder why he looks so much fitter than the other musketeers. Excuse me, may I speak with you, monsieur? He looks pretty good at fighting. Excuse me, may I speak with you, monsieur? I wonder why he looks so much fitter than the other musketeers. Excuse me, may I speak with you, monsieur? Are you the new ensign? You should have reported in hours ago. Go and see the captain at once. So, we're off to fight the English soon. What a fine-looking gentleman. Wonder who it is. So, we're off to fight the English soon. Try not to offend anyone. These men are all trained killers. Keep out of trouble, Henri. Henri! Come here. That looks like a bedroom up there. I don't think I know him. I don't think I know him. So, we're off to fight the English soon. What a fine look. One day, I shall... So, we're off to fight the English soon. We'll drive them out of love in a matter of days. What about the rebels? Will they help the English? Ha! <laughs> Protestants come. We'll soon have the measure of them. I need a word with the captain. That's where Captain Plainforce hangs out. I need a word with the captain. That's where Captain Plainforce hangs out. I need a word with the captain. Ensign Geoffroy report. Don't they teach you to knock where you live? If I'd knocked from back there, sir, you'd never have heard me. Are you trying to be funny with me? No, sir. Then get out. Come in again and knock this time. That was quick. I haven't finished yet. Take your time. Come in. Ensign Geoffroy report. Were you born in a field? No, sir. Then shut the door. I work for him. <laughs> Ensign Geoffroy report. You're late. Where have you been? I've just arrived in Rouen, Captain. Then I was detained by a body. A what? Oh, no, never mind. Are you the officer who caused trouble in the tavern? Me? How did... I mean... No, sir. I thought so. I can't abide, troublemakers. Captain Plainforce is a fine-looking officer. Captain, I need to ask you about something. What is it? A man has been murdered in the street. Who was he? The Comte de Purple. De Purple? Hmm, that is a problem. I confronted the assassins who murdered him, but I think they must have been paid by someone. Who? Well, I have some leads. Good, good. I need to leave Rouen to pursue them. Fine. Good. Go. Yes, sir. Don't I need a pass or something? I don't have time to work out your holiday arrangements. I have problems of my own. I'm glad I don't have to clean in here. I'm glad I don't have to clean in here. Captain, I need to ask you about something. What is it? About that pass. I don't have time to work out your holiday arrangements. I have problems of my own. I'm glad I don't have to clean in here. Captain Plainforce is a fine-looking officer. I wonder when I'll get promoted to be a captain. Captain Plainforce is a fine... That's the... Captain, what about that? I do your... I have problem... Captain, what about that? I do your... I have problem... Lost something, Captain. I've got to find a letter I wrote. I finished it just before you came in. I can't even think about anything else until I find it. I'll look through these for you, Captain. I'll try over here. Sheesh! What a mess! I can't find anything here. It would be a lot easier if these papers were kept neat. Do you mind? I haven't finished going through those papers. You'll spoil my filing system. 
It would take forever to sort this mess out. I wonder what half of this stuff is. Let's have a look at this one. Hmm, next week's cookhouse rotor. Hey, I'm on duty all week. This is one piece of paper that can stay lost. What do you think you're doing? Leave those papers alone! These are all reports from Paris. I know that. Uh, please don't disturb them. They're filed in order of priority. This lot doesn't even have any writing on them. Have you looked here, Captain? Yes. Uh, no. I think so. Just look for yourself, will you? Perhaps it fell on the floor back here. Will you please stop poking around over there? You'll knock something over. Fresh fruit. It looks delicious. I see that you're admiring the fruit. I see that you're admiring the fruit. Those melons cost me five francs. They're imported from Spain, you know. Help yourself to one. Thanks. I will. This is an excellent pen. The captain has fine taste. I bet it writes really well. Huh. No ink. And the inkwell's dry. Is inkwell? It's made out of a hollow cannonball. Hey, it's empty. And the pen's dry. So how did he write this missing letter? What are you poking around at there? You're supposed to be helping me find my letter. This lot doesn't even have any writing on them. I wonder how he wrote this mysterious letter. No ink in the inkwell. The pen is dry. I wonder if there's anything special about the paper. Hello? What's this? There's some writing on here. It says, My dearest cuddle bear, I... Yes! That's it! You found it! Bring it here! Give it here! Mademoiselle Discreet? Thank you, Mademoiselle Discreet. Please take this to my... Uh, I mean, your mistress. <laughs> See you later, babe. <laughs> Thank you, Ensign Jeffroy. I'd forgotten that I wrote the letter in lemon juice. Now, is there something I can do for you? Captain Plainforce is a fine... Now what are you looking for, Captain? Captain, I need to ask you about something. What is it? About that pass? Yes, of course. Oh, bah! This pen is dry. Ah, no ink. Wait a minute. Take this. It will keep you out of the hands of the provost while you search for your suspect. But don't take too long. We march against the English in the Havre soon. Permission to leave, Captain? Yes. Go. Oh, and thanks for finding the letter. Don't make me regret writing you that pass. Let's go, Henri. I was ready ages ago. Hey, Ensign! How did you find the captain? Actually, I just looked behind the desk and there he was. I wonder if those are just for show. These look too big to fit in those cannon. That's military planning for you, Master. It's a target dummy for honing your fencing skills. A practice dummy. Perhaps I should take the time to sharpen up my skills. My money's on the dummy. Not a mark on it. A testimony to the accuracy of your comrades, monsieur. On guard! The boy's a killer. Sure he is. Didn't you hear what happened in the scalded pig? Touché. Well done, Geoffroy. Excuse me. 
Hey, stupid. That's a dummy. The musketeers are over here. They are? Oh, excuse me. I couldn't tell the difference. He has a sharp wit. I hope he realizes he also needs a sharp sword. Come on, Henri. We're leaving. So long, Ensign. I wonder if I can afford anything in here. I wonder if you can afford to pay your manservant. Good morning, monsieur. Can I help you? Surprising in a tailor's. Well, I don't suppose he'll miss this. Can I help you? What have you got back there? Anything special? Nothing that would interest you. Just cloth, pins and shears. Henri, stop standing around. You're making the place look untidy. Very funny, master. Can I show you anything in your size, sir? Do you have any elephants? Touché, Henri. What do you think, Henri? Am I not a fine figure of a man? Actually, master, I was just wondering. If the mannequin wouldn't make a fine musketeer, it has all the right qualities. I look pretty sharp. Indeed. Though if I might make a small suggestion, you could try losing some excess fat. Perhaps I should sack Henri. And a smart cloak would be a wise investment. Be honest, Monsieur Cutter. Do you think my image needs to change direction? I'm sure of it, Henri. It should start by turning around and leaving my shop. Let me tell you of all the bargains I can offer. This man owns the shop. Let me tell you of all the bargains I can offer. This man owns the shop. Let me tell you of this... Let me tell you of all the bargains I can offer. This man... Let me tell you of all the bargains I can offer. This man... Let me tell... This man... I would like a word with you, Taylor. How can I help you, monsieur? Do all the musketeers come here for their uniforms? But of course. I am the best tailor in all France. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Ensign Geoffroy Lebrun of His Majesty's Musketeers. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'd really like a new uniform. I think we have something in your size. That's lucky. I thought we were going to have to find a tent maker. Would you like to try something on, sir? Sure. I'll try anything. That doesn't involve hard work. Walk this way, sir. Not bad, master. Now, can you walk this way? Stop fooling about, Henri. Try that one on, monsieur. Mmm, love those arms, soldier. It could have been made for you. Or any other overweight musketeer. I would like to have a uniform like this. You would be the envy of all Rouen, monsieur. Should I wrap it? Or will you cause women to faint immediately you step outside? No, it's no good. Travelling with Henri would ruin this. Hmm. That could ruin my reputation as well. Hmm, not bad. <sighs> Some other time, perhaps. In the meantime, can I interest you in something else? I'm interested in a new pair of boots. I'm sorry, monsieur. I have no spare boots that I could sell you. I'd like to buy a new hat. Of course, monsieur. I have some hats in the window that would suit you perfectly. I hope they come in extra large. What do you think, monsieur? I like this hat. How much is it? Well, as it's you, shall we say 75 francs? 75 francs? Are you crazy? Master, it's the same as the hat you've got. Um... No, I think I'll leave it for now, Taylor. I quite understand. Perhaps I can interest you in something else. 
I'd like to buy a cloak. Of course, sir. I have the very one for you. Oh, it's you! And a bargain at a thousand francs. What? You must be joking. Who would pay that much for a cloak? A gentleman of taste, sir. Ah. Anyway, I can't afford it. Exactly. Perhaps we can have it. Well, I could knock off 50 francs. How generous. Give me 950 francs, master, and I'll knock off a dozen cloaks. Henri! I'm afraid that's still too rich for me, Monsieur Cutter. I understand. Perhaps I can show you something else. I think that's all the business I wish to do today. Oh well, perhaps some other time. Oh no, please come again. A few more visits and I'll be able to retire. You can't make a sale every time. I don't want people thinking this is a charity shop. Check. Riffraff. What a fine establishment. I'm surprised we got out so quickly, Master. <laughs> Good day, Monsieur. Are we leaving Rouen, Ma? Only are we don't. Well, I'm about ready to leave Rouen. I hate travelling. Would you prefer to be left behind? So, we're off then. Yes, come on. So, where are we going, Master? Look here on the map, Henri. We're going to... We're going to San Quentin? Yes. It's getting late. We'd better stop soon. And would you believe a jolly eater? Come on, Henri. What kept you? I was just talking to the coachman. When do we eat? But you ate all my food on the coach. I'm sorry, but it's a long journey. And I get so hungry that you resort to stealing. I know. Master, what if the man in the blue cape is here? I expect he is on the road ahead of us, Henri, but we'll have a look around anyway. Come on, let's go in. Come on, Henri. It's not often you're slow to get to a meal. It's been so long since we last ate, Master, that I have almost forgotten what to do. Henri, check out that priest, will you? A man of the cloth. Priests have to travel too, Master. A man of the cloth. There's only one chair in the whole place, Master. Good day, Father. I am Ensign Geoffroy. What is your name? Father Ave. Pardon me. Father Ave. What are you doing? I don't know. The priest just told me to stand farther away. That cheese then. Oh, never mind. Excuse me, Father. I'm Ensign Geoffroy. And I am Father Ave. Well, you are now. I haven't really got time to talk to you now, as I have to go to Rouen Cathedral soon. Too soon. In fact, I don't want to go at all. I'd rather stay here. I was wondering if you could help me. Perhaps, but not just now. Henri, I believe I may be in love. That's understandable, Master. It has been several hours since last time. The maid's quite a good looker, too. Henri, I believe I may be in love. That's under... It has been... The maid... Why are you looking outside, Master? I'm just checking the road. Excuse me? Please do not address my maids. If you have something to say, please talk to me. Henri, I believe... That's under... It... The maid... Henri... That's under... It has... The maid... I am most sorry to trouble you, dear lady, but I need to ask you a few questions. Officially, of course. How could I resist such a request? What can I tell you, my little musketeer? I'm looking for a man. 
Aren't we all? <laughs> who committed a terrible crime in Rouen. All I know of him is that he wears a blue cloak. Have you seen such a man? A blue cloak? Satin or silk? I don't know. Italian? Spanish? We didn't hear him speak. Not the man, the cloak, silly. I have no idea. I am afraid, monsieur, that I cannot help you. That I cannot help you find your quarry. What brings a lady of such nobility to this humble, jolly eater travellers in? I am travelling in search of a husband. What sort of a man are you looking for? A gentleman. That's me. Who is gallant? We fit the bill so far. I'm surprised anything fits you. Brave. Aha. Rich. Aha. And of good reputation. Then let me present myself. I am Geoffroy Lebrun, ensign of His Majesty's Musketeers. Ensign Geoffroy Lebrun. Never heard of you. Go away. Yeah, push off, soldier. I'm tired. The innkeeper. Odd sort of fellow. Funny accent. Probably foreign. Actually, I've always liked foreign food. That's enough hints, Henri. I've done all my chores, Master. What chores? Thank you, Master. I'll have a beer. Henri, even in the 16th century, that gag is too old to work. Innkeeper, I'm looking for a man who may have travelled this way. Many travellers come through here. You'll have to be more specific, Master. He was wearing a blue cape. That should clinch it, Master. I'm sorry, but I don't remember him. And after such a detailed description, too. Of course, there was that one guy who paid me a Spanish silver coin to have his blue cape cleaned. It had a blood stain on it. That's him. Where did he go? I'm sorry, Monsieur, but I can't help you. I did not see him leave. I'm tired. The innkeeper. Odd sort of fellow. Probably. That's enough. I'm tired. If you want a room, it will cost you two francs in advance. Fine. Send my bill to Captain Plainforce in Rouen. You soldiers. Never any money. You're telling me. Master, why are we up so early? We have to make an early start if we're going to catch our man. Now come on. I haven't really got time to talk to you now, as I have to go to Rouen Cathedral so too soon. In fact, I don't want to go at all. I'd rather stay here. I was wondering if you perhaps... Father, I think you should look at this. Hmm? What does this say? It's about the cathedral at Rouen. It's closed for renovations, but will be open again soon. I see. Well, in that case, I've no need to hurry there. I can stay and have a little more to eat. Thank you, my son. Henri, check out that poor man. Henri, I'll wait. There's only one. So, my son, what can I do for you? Do you come here often, Father? A fine line to use with a priest. I visit this inn regularly, my son. I like to stay for a few days to sample the cuisine. Good. Then perhaps you can help me. I'm looking for a man who may be involved in a murder. My goodness. What did this rogue look like? The man we are looking for wore a blue cape. He was seen leaving Rouen after the murder of a nobleman. And I'm sure that he came this way. Yes. I remember a man dressed like that. A most disagreeable fellow. Is he still here? No. He just had one meal and left him afraid. I'm afraid of the meals here too. What did he have to eat? I'm not sure. 
They had so little choice here. But I think he had the lamb. Master, do we have to talk about food? I feel quite unwell. That's it. I remember now. Your man was riding east with a message for someone. He had the lamb stew and it made him sick. I told him to find a doctor or a monastery. I couldn't recommend any near here. They've all run out of good food and wine. So he said he would look in Amiens. Thank you, Father. You've been a great help. Well, I'm ready to go, Henri. I hate it when he gets all active. It makes me feel quite exhausted. Come on, Henri. We have a long ride ahead. How exciting, Master. Come on, Henri. We're leaving. So, where are we going, Master? Look here on the map, Henri. We're going to... We are going to Amiens. Yes, Amiens. Here we are, Henri. Amiens. I'm thrilled, Master. <laughs>